Hi amazing Pisces! I have decided to do another edition of different readings for the month of August just especially for you guys. For all the love and support, I do appreciate it. This is your weekly reading guys, Sun, Moon, Rising as well as Venus. This is going to be a five card spread with your advice card, environment, challenge, future, all that good stuff, okay? This is going to be the general energy. Ooh, all these cards just fell out. I'll take it. I'll take it. General energy for the first week of August, okay? I'm wishing you all an amazing first month. And Sorry, not first month. First week, excuse me, of August. I hope that August treats you Pisces very, very well. I am a water sign like you guys. I am a Scorpio. You guys are amazing. I do have a couple Pisces friends in my own life. You guys are very, very hard workers, very smart people. So I'm wishing you all the best for August. Okay, let's get into your spread, Pisces. You have the lovers. Ooh, okay. That kind of just hit me up inside my face. So the first card you guys have for the um your spread is the lovers. Gemini, Major Arcana. Very, very good. I like it. Okay, it's a great way to start the reading. Your advice card is a star, Aquarius. So, so far you have two major arcana. That's pretty major, as I, I think so. It's pretty major. Your environment is the eight of swords. So basically self-sabotage, maybe a little confusion. Um, I do feel strong anxiety from this card. So I feel that you guys are gonna be very very busy okay all the water signs this month i feel are gonna be having a little bit of the same energy super busy people demanding a lot from you so i would definitely stress for you pisces as well to take your health seriously okay i feel that a lot of you guys are having um high caffeine uh intake type of drinks like five hour energy i don't know like just 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 drinks that are just very very high in caffeine and I do see like a heart pulsating very, very quickly and then slowly and then quickly again. So that visual I'm getting for you, Pisces, is saying that you need to kind of be careful. If you feel the need to, of course, if this message resonates with you, you may want to be careful with the caffeine, okay? Um, if you are feeling tired, rest, all right? If you don't have time to take a 60-minute nap or even a 30-minute nap, then meditate okay you can meditate in your chair you can meditate in the bathroom i mean it sounds kind of crazy but there is ways to work it out okay so if you find yourself stressed out this week pisces which i feel you probably will because all the water signs i've read read for so far have these crazy outlandish schedules for some reason and you guys are not exempt from this so i would say be careful of the caffeine to start off with okay so the eight of swords the Eight of Swords is, I feel like, a little warning card saying, please be careful of the caffeine. Please be careful of, um, you know, using unhealthy methods to try to upkeep yourself, all right? I actually have been feeling this, and I'm a Scorpio, so I don't know. You guys have a similar thing like Scorpio as well, okay? If you do have Scorpio in your chart, you may want to check that video out when you have time. All right, so we have the Aquarius, we have Gemini, Ten of Wands. So this is really, really tying in already. Uh, like I said, you guys are having some issues with the energy, okay? Now, I do want to make this very, very loud and clear. We are in retrograde season. Retrogrades are not easy, guys. They're not, not easy. So if you're trying to push your body to do 60 hours, 80 hours, Pisces, it, it, it may kick back, all right? I hope it doesn't, but it may. Okay, because this person's carrying 10 wands and this person can't carry it forever. All right, at some point, this person's going to have to drop the load and take a breather. At some point, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it, 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 it's another warning card saying, listen, are you doing too much? Now, in my opinion, as a Scorpio, you can never do too much, but I, I see this as more in the message is, Whatever you're doing a lot of, are you doing it in a smart way? So for whoever that is for, you'll get it automatically, okay? So it's like whatever you're doing a lot of, if it's working, if it's working out, like going to the gym, if it's 
you know, you have kids, you have a newborn and you're having to feed your kid. Like, you know, life is crazy. I get it, guys. So if you're going, 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 let's try and find some ways here to incorporate some self-love. This lover's card is is obviously for couples and romance a very very beautiful card to have i obviously one of the best right but i feel this is also talking about self-love okay like being able to tell yourself you know i need a breather i need some alone time i need to collect my thoughts and not for hours and hours and hours you know you do it to suit your schedule if you if you need five minutes if you need 50 minutes that's totally up to you but there definitely is a trend here i feel from the energy of the energy alone that is supporting you guys to give some more time to yourself and create create some space between people because there is there is this kind of energy pisces especially with love 10 of wands the lovers 7 of swords where there could be people around you that i feel want a lot out of you but of course if we don't have it in ourselves to give we simply cannot give it to others so if you don't have a lot to give to yourself pisces then it's going to be damn impossible to give it to anybody else so this is exhaustion this is career this is self-entrapment this is needing some alone time, okay? Some self-nurturing sort of energy, whether it's a bath, whether it's meditation, you know, because you guys are gonna be very, very busy this month. I see it already. You guys are gonna be very, 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 very busy. So make sure that with all the hustle and bustle, Pisces, you still have the opportunity and the chance here to take some time for yourself. If it's having an iced tea, if it's having a bath, if it's taking a nap, you know, whatever can really help you get in that space of mind where you feel free and Enough to just breathe you know that will help you tremendously and then your future card number five is seven of swords so this is what you want to look out for okay the card you want to look out for the energy you want to look out for the person you want to look out for for the month of august is seven of swords now this definitely could be an air sign gemini right here the lovers okay could be a gemini could be libra could be aquarius um, I am feeling Libra moon, I am feeling Leo sun, and I definitely am feeling Scorpio sun. So there could definitely be a Scorpio, Leo, um, Aries, Capricorn, Venus, or Virgo sun that could be playing a little trick on you, I feel, okay? But it could definitely be somebody here who may just want you for your body, and for what you can give them, but maybe not on the deeper level, okay? That's why I'm saying that while you're busy, you could be attracting a lot of people, right, that are so in, you know, in admiration of you. They, they think so highly of you, Pisces, but it's like the wrong kind. It's like they don't see how hard you're working. They don't see how, how much you're struggling to try and, you know, make it. It's all about like the look, the look, the look. Like this, whoever this, whatever this means, for you, this could be a person or this actually could just be an energy in your life, Pisces. It's a very, very good possibility. It could just be an energy opposed to a person. But this is talking about somebody who's a thief of joy. This energy is a thief of joy. Does not want you to be happy. Does not want you to have time for yourself. So... The, if, so the additional, the bonus advice card, which is perfectly fitting into this, is Seven of Wands, okay? Synchronicity all over this joint. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. So it's about defending yourself, about, about defending your territory. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords reverse. So basically turning your back from anxiety, turning your back from naysayers, and facing forward to the future, Okay, cancer had a similar a similar message where it's like the past is ring its ugly head and there's people coming in, there's people coming out, but, but at the end of the day, you got your you got your your future to focus on. You got now to focus on the present. So the best advice here from from the card alone is to defend your energy, defend your space, defend your time. If this is somebody like a romant romantic partner or a romantic person, like I feel here there could be apps, there could be social media apps, there could be um, people online who I really feel are just time wasters, Pisces, I'm sorry, but they feel like time wasters to me, okay? If they're not supporting, they're not important, 
right? I just I just recently got this into my my energy as well. It's like if they're not supporting, they're not important. So I would say Pisces, support who support you, okay? If it's a job situation, if all we're doing is take, 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 because the star card, Aquarius, a lot of the times to talk about career. It really, really does. So if this if this is your career life is taking all your time away from this person over here, this romantic relationship, you gotta draw the line in the sand. Okay, there's gotta be a way to fix this. So the best thing to do is look for the solution and defend your energy. So my message for this video is defend your energy, defend your time, and de defend your defend your honor. Okay, if somebody's trying to like play a game on you. Let them know, Pisces, in your own way, okay? Maybe verbally, maybe, I don't know. But let this person know that, you know what? I got things to do. I got places to be. You're no longer able to walk in my space and mess up my energy. And that's your message for the first week of August, Pisces, okay? I hope this video really, really helped you. All my information, how to contact me for your one-on-one -on -one and social media links, as well as my email, is in the box below. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.